Imagine writing a letter so powerful that it never gets a reply. A letter that instead of opening doors, shuts them forever. That's exactly what happened to Nikola Tesla when he wrote to JP Morgan, one of the most powerful and influential men of his time. Tesla, the genius behind alternating current electricity, had a vision for the future one that could have changed human civilization forever. He believed in making energy more accessible. Not just cheap energy, but potentially wireless energy available to people everywhere. J.P. Morgan, a man who practically controlled the entire financial system, was at first intrigued by Tesla's ideas. He even invested in his work. But then Tesla sent him a letter, one that may have revealed something so revolutionary that it made Morgan reconsider his support. What exactly did Tesla say in that letter? Why did Morgan suddenly withdraw his funding? And most importantly, how different would our world be today if Tesla's vision had come true? Stay with me because what you are about to hear will change the way you see history forever. Friends, Nikola Tesla was not just an inventor. He was a visionary, a man who saw the world not as it was but as it could be. While others were improving existing technology, Tesla was creating entirely new concepts. He developed alternating current the system that powers nearly every home and city today. He discovered radio waves before Marconi and built one of the first ever wireless communication devices. He designed the first ever remote controlled robot in 1898, when most people hadn't even seen electricity in action. He was a man ahead of his time, constantly inventing things the world was not ready for. But there was a problem. Tesla was a scientist, not a businessman. He didn't care about making money, marketing his ideas, or building an empire. He cared about one thing, advancing human knowledge and making the world a better place. And that's why he needed investors. One of those investors was J.P. Morgan, a man whose power rivaled that of entire governments. In the early 1900s, Tesla began working on his most ambitious project yet, the Warden Cliff Tower. At first glance, it looked like just a tall structure, but in reality, it was a revolutionary experiment. Tesla believed it could transmit wireless electricity across the entire planet, sending power through the atmosphere itself. No wires, no need for power lines or fuel, just energy potentially available through the air. If it worked, it could have had profound implications for the energy industry, possibly reducing dependence on power plants and transmission grids. But Tesla had a problem. He needed funding. So he turned to the one man who could finance a project of this scale. J.P. Morgan. At first, Morgan was interested. He gave Tesla $150,000, a massive investment at that time. Tesla began constructing the tower, confident that he was on the verge of changing the world. But then Tesla sent Morgan a letter. And that's where everything changed. Tesla sent Morgan a letter reportedly explaining what the tower was really for. While historical records do not confirm the exact details, some speculate that Tesla may have shared ideas about energy transmission that did not rely on traditional power infrastructure. It is believed that in this letter, Tesla hinted at the possibility of harnessing natural electrical forces in a way that could make power widely available. This was a bold claim, one that if true, could have transformed how energy was distributed. But there was a catch. If Tesla's vision became reality, the traditional business model of energy production and distribution could have been disrupted. 
power companies, transmission grids, and centralized control over electricity might have been significantly altered. Morgan, a businessman at his core, saw the implications. If Tesla succeeded, the structure of the energy market could change drastically. And that's when Tesla's funding was cut off. After receiving Tesla's letter, JP Morgan never replied. Not only that, he completely withdrew financial support. With no additional funding, the Wardenclyffe Tower was left incomplete. Construction stopped immediately. Some believe Morgan simply lost confidence in Tesla's ideas or saw it as unprofitable. Others speculate that Morgan saw Tesla's vision as a threat to the existing financial and industrial systems. Whatever the reason, the impact was devastating for Tesla. With no other major investors willing to back his work, Tesla's dream began to crumble. And Morgan was not the only one. Once Morgan withdrew, other investors hesitated to support Tesla. Without the backing of major financiers, Tesla struggled to continue his work. Eventually, Warden Cliff Tower was abandoned. Tesla, once celebrated as a genius, became a forgotten man. He spent his later years living in poverty, working on ideas that no one could fund, slowly watching as his dreams faded away. He died alone in a hotel room with barely any money to his name. Here is the question we have to ask today. Was Tesla just a dreamer or was he actually onto something real? Modern research has shown that wireless energy transmission is indeed possible. Companies today, including NASA and Tesla Motors, are exploring ways to transmit electricity without wires. While Tesla's vision of large-scale wireless energy for all remains unproven, his ideas were undeniably ahead of their time. Did he truly discover a way to provide energy freely? Or was his concept too ambitious for the technology of his era? Imagine for a second that Tesla had succeeded. Would we still have power plants, electricity bills, oil companies, or would we be living in a world where energy flows freely, like the air we breathe? If energy had become more decentralized, the world might look very different today. But if Tesla's dream was so powerful, why was it never fully realized? Was it simply because the technology was not there? Or were there other reasons, perhaps financial, political, or industrial, that kept it from happening? Friends, now I want to hear from you. Do you think Tesla really had a breakthrough in energy transmission? Or was he simply ahead of his time? And most importantly, if Tesla's technology existed today, how different would our world be? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. Friends, if this video made you think, then you belong here. This channel is all about unlocking the world's biggest mysteries. So if you want more, hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let's keep Tesla's dream alive. See you in the next one.